Hey there fellow liver abroaders. <laughs> this is Mark from Walter's World and today what we're going to talk about is how do you make friends when you live abroad? Whether you're working abroad or studying abroad. I mean there's different things you can do in order to make more local friends because that's one of the way you're really going to enjoy and learn about the local culture is having local friends. And this is something, these are things that I've done in Lithuania, Germany, China, Brazil. Of the 10 countries I've lived in and numerous more I've worked in, there's certain ways you have a better chance to make local friends. So let's get started. And the first thing you have to do if you're living abroad and you want to make friends is forget your friends back home. Now I'm not saying never write them. I'm saying turn off the Facebook, turn off the Skype, turn off these things and get out of the house. Because if you sit at your home and you're on your computer all the time doing these things, you're never going to get a chance to meet people. There was a Belgian girl that lived at our house when I was in high school and literally all she did was ICQ. That's how long ago it was. ICQ messaged her boyfriend and her friends back in Belgium and so she never made any friends there. And by the time she realized, oh, I should do something different, it was too late. So get, forget home for a while and focus on meeting friends here, okay? The second thing you can do to try to meet friends here is go do what locals do, okay? Here in Spain, they go out. They enjoy the going to the cafes, the tapas bars, talking to people. You need to do the same thing. When I lived in Germany, all the students like to go out and play volleyball and soccer. Yes, I'm not the most athletic person. I suck at soccer. I suck at volleyball. But you know what? I went out there and did what they did and so I was where they were and I got to meet them that way. And they saw, hey, this guy obviously doesn't know what he's doing, but he's at least trying and it goes a long way. The third thing you should do is invite people over. Whether it's to have dinner at your house or going out to eat or doing something, but invite them to do things. If you meet somebody in class or you meet somebody at work or whatever and you enjoy chatting with them, why not ask them, hey, you want to go grab a beer later? Hey, you want to go to the amusement park? Oh, you want to go see a movie? have dinner, whatever, you invite them. You need to take the initiative. Remember, they grew up in this town. They already have friends. It's you that want to meet people, so you have to do it. Not, oh, no one wants to meet me. Quit whining. Get off your butt and go introduce yourself to people and invite them to do things, okay? And that's why it leads into number four is asking to join. If you hear people are going to do things, you can ask, hey, you know, mind if I join you for something? Because you're the foreigner out there. They don't, they're like, okay, well, we'll bring the silly American along and see what he has to say. And I can't tell me how many friends I've made just because I said, hey, can, can I come with you? You know, my best friend Magnus, who I'm going to go see in Malta, I met him in Berlin because he was going to have a beer and I said, hey, why don't we talk together, okay? And we went out and had some drinks. Next thing you know, boom, best buddies. The fifth thing you need to do if you want to make friends when you're abroad is start early. Because the thing is, people see you the first time, they make a first impression. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to speak Spanish with people, I don't want to try, they're going to see you as the foreigner who doesn't want to try. So the first day there, when you meet people, you say, hey, I'm Mark, how's it going? Hey, hola, soy Mark, ¿cómo te va? You say hi, you get them there, so eventually when they're ready to meet you, they have a positive impression on you. So you start early, because if you start late, they've already decided if they like you or not, and you have less of a chance of getting there. That's why that Belgian girl had a huff, tough time making friends, because three months in, her boyfriend broke up with her, and well, there's no one to meet now, you know? And they're all like, oh, that's that Belgian girl who never talked to anybody, who sat at home on the computer all the time. So that can be a difficulty, okay? Number six is learn how they communicate. I mean, in, in Portugal, everyone communicated by Facebook. That's how you did everything. In the US, well, there's other ways they go about it. And when I lived in Brazil, they used to have this thing called Orkut. And you wouldn't give out your phone number, you'd give out your Orkut name and kind of stuff like that. And so you go through there and you find how they communicate and you communicate that way. You don't say, oh, well, well, I don't use Google Plus, so I don't want to talk to them. No, no, you get a Google Plus and you find out a way to talk to them. You're like, I use Pajinti's LT, you know, for when I was in Lithuania to get to know people that way. I mean, you got to find how they communicate and communicate with them that way. The seventh thing you need to do is, well, you should actually learn the language or at least try to learn the language because that shows respect. Showing, look, I care enough that I'm living here and I want to learn the language and the culture here. And a lot of people will take that in. I can't tell me how many times when I was in Lithuania, I would order in Lithuanian. Okay, and the person next to me said, oh my God, you're a foreigner. And you, you, you're trying to speak Lithuanian. I will pay for that shot. And we drink and we make friends that way. And just trying to kind of get in with the culture, with the language can make a big difference in making friends. And the last thing you can do to make friends when you are abroad is be yourself because you want these people to like you for you, not for a fake you. So be yourself, enjoy being you and let them learn that. And if, you know what? If you have friends back home that like you, 
they'll like you too. So I hope this helps you get to know how to make friends when you are maybe traveling by yourself or you're living abroad or studying abroad. If you want to learn more, check us out our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions and I hope you enjoy Madrid or wherever you do end up living because guys, it's fantastic living abroad. So bye from Madrid.